Hey guys, what's up? This is Trish. Welcome to my channel, Trish the Natural. In today's video, I am going to just do a few different styles with my, uh, this is a, uh, not really old, but it's a twist out and uh, just want to show you guys maybe a few styles that you can do. Um, and, uh, you know, I put on a little makeup for you guys, uh, and I got on these magnetic lashes, and I am so uh, scared they're going to fall off. If they fall off, don't laugh at me, guys. I did the best I could. I am horrible with lashes. I can do everything. I can do hair. I can, you know, do my nails, all that, put on a little makeup, you know, and this is very minimal makeup, just a little makeup, but the eyelashes is something that I have not been able to master, and I even got the magnetic ones, which they are easier to get on, but I am struggling with these, so hopefully they last throughout this video, but anyway, um, to the hairstyle, so I had my hair in this twist out, and um, it was a lot more defined yesterday, but now, you know, it's looking a little frizzy, but, you know, I, I'll still wear it. And just to, you know, tell you guys, as far as what I do to uh, maintain my twist out as the days go on. And uh, like I said, show you guys maybe a couple of variation in styles, you know, that you can do. Maybe if you just don't want to have the same old style, you know, all week. Typically at night, uh, when I have a uh, twist out, I would just put my hair up like this in a pineapple. Typically, that's what I do. That's the, the real quick thing that I do. And then, um, depending on where I have to go, you know, if I have to go to work, you know, I'll take it down and style it. But if it's like the weekend, I don't have, you know, any place really to go, maybe to, you know, the grocery store or something like that. I leave it up like this. And, and I think you can get away with this and rock it like this if you want to. So technically, your hair maintenance can also be a hairstyle. So, and it's just a high puff going to the front, give you some little fringes down like that, you know, if you want to. Some people like to wear it over to the side. Some people like to, you know, wear it back a little bit, maybe, you know, split it and do things with it. So that's like one option, you know, when you have a twist out and it's getting a little old. But I'm going to take this down. I'm going to take this down. And another thing that I do sometimes, um, especially um, when it's kind of still fresh, instead of doing that one pineapple up here in the top, I might take half of it in the front and put it in the pineapple up here and then in the back the back section I pull that down and I would say the mid to lower back area I put that down like this so in the morning when I'm getting ready for work and I gotta take my hair down I'm not steady trying to get this to lay down instead of sticking up you know sometimes your hair stick up I'll just do two pineapples a low one and then i'll do one up high so that kind of helps you know because otherwise you're steady pulling trying to get it to lay down and it want to stick up and okay so typically in the morning this is what i do as far as styling i pull it down pull it down And even though this is frizzy, guys, my hair, it gets poofy once I step outside. That's just what it does. It gets poofy. So, and like I said, when you have it down in the back, it, it makes it so much easier to bring, you know, your style into place. Now, up here... You know, you can do a few things. You can rock your middle part. If you want to wear a middle part, bring it together, make some bangs. And it's just cooperating right now, guys. Usually I have to, you know, pin up the bangs. But like I said, as the days go on, my hair gets more poofy. Therefore, the bangs 
rise up on their own. I do not have cut bangs. I'm thinking about it. I've been thinking about getting some cut bangs, but I haven't decided because I know how I like to do different things with my hair. And then I was like, well, I get tired of the bangs. But yeah, this is the style here. You can go from part in the middle to rocking some bangs. And they're you know, light bangs, not real heavy bangs. So make sure you, you know, pull it down on the sides. We're going to be real gentle because we don't want to cause any more tangles than we're going to have. But, you know, just, just be gentle with it. Okay. Okay, guys, that's one style. Then, like I said, um, how I part my hair... Um, it either falls in the middle or on the side because I always have two twists up here and two right here. So I had that natural side part too. So if you want to, you know, take it over to the side, keep your bangs and just be gentle with it, you know, as you, um, you know, move it over. You don't have to do a lot of pulling or anything. And you can take that over to the side like that. And then, you know, you can, you know, pull it out and fluff it. Make it as big as you like. There. So that's, that's over to the side. It's another look. And then you can always, and I don't have a comb with me, but you can always take a comb and pin that back too. That's another look. Look. And then um, with the edges, sometimes I lay my edges, but I would say most of the time I don't. Um, I, de I just don't, and I don't like gooping a lot of stuff all the time on my edges because my edges, as thick as my hair looks, my edges are kind of thin. So that's why, I, um, I don't bother, uh, gooping a lot of stuff on there. So this is kind of like still the bangs, the, the short bangs, and then over to the side. And then um, if you want to deeper, you can make your part deeper if you like. I've seen some people wear it like that, you know, like really carried over to the side. Like that. Just bring it down and swoop it and pull it, pull it back a little bit, you know, off your face a little bit. Especially you ladies that, you know, hook up the eyebrows and stuff. I, I just kind of go over mine with a little bit of um, uh, the eyebrow gel or mascara and just brush them. Definitely haven't been out, you know, lately to get them. Um, uh, arched or anything, but you know, some ladies' eyebrows are so beautiful, so they want you know their hair off their face so they can show their eyebrows. So you can you can kind of swoop it, and and I like my hair kind of big, so everybody might not want all this volume, but I like my hair kind of big. And like I said, you can swoop that over and uh, show off your eyes a little bit more. So, yeah. So, that's another one. A little different. Not too much, but just, it doesn't take much to make it different and a little more unique. It doesn't take much. So, that's one. Okay. Um, let's do another one. Uh, let's see. This. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
I don't have a barrette, but I do have a cone that I can stick up here. And again, again, for, you know, when you're wanting to have your hair off your face, just take it back, push it forward gently. So it can stay and then just bring that forward. On more height up here, <laughs> like me. I like height and bring, you know, bring a few curls down the front. It'll probably be better if you had a barrette, but I don't have a, um, that's what they call them, <laughs> barrettes. But yeah, I like to do this sometimes and just have it off my face and, uh, and again, if you want to, bring down, you know, some baby hairs you could, or you just want to kind of highlight your little curls on the side. You can do it like that. And then you always have the option of, like I said, my hair has kind of poofed out and it's, it's shrunken a little bit, but if, if you wanted to, you know, like, um, um, stretch it out a little bit, like just a little heat in the back and, you know, to stretch it out more, you know, that's an option too. If you want a little more st stretch, a little more hang time. Yeah. So, that's it. So, that's the last style, guys. I only had a few, you know, that I wanted to share with you guys. Just some of the things that I do to my hair as um, the week goes on and as my twist out, you know, gets a little older. I, and I do some of the same styles with a wash and go. So just want to, you know, show you guys a couple of little options of things that you could do. I hope you like this video. I hope you found it informative and um some information that you can use and maybe some styles that you would like to try on your own hair. I appreciate you guys uh, stopping by. Uh, if you have any comments, questions for me, um, suggestions for me, uh, please leave them down in the comments below. I would like for you to come back. So uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will know when I drop another video. You can come back to see me, you know, we're curl friends, right? We're curl friends. Again, thank you for uh, stopping by. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace.